Samantha Steenson and I'm a competition climber. I've been climbing for seven years now and when I first got here I was really, really scared to talk to you guys because climbing is the most phenomenal thing in the world to me and how do you put something that you love so much into words? <sighs> Climbers are definitely the best kind of people that I've ever met. They believe in the earth, they believe in the mountains and they believe in the people and that people can make a change and make a difference. And that's probably my favourite part about climbing is definitely the people that you meet. It's also really easy to be good, but it's difficult to be great. And personally, I've never had talent, and, but I've had a passion, which has kept me working hard and kept me getting stronger. So I'm here to talk to you about the adventures that I took starting last year, because that's when competition climbing became really, really important to me. Last year, I took a gap year to focus on my last year in youth and especially youth world championships. This year took a toll on me because I didn't actually know where I was going or who I wanted to be, but I discovered a lot about myself during this time. And especially, I discovered that if you put your mind to something, you can do it. I found myself working harder than I've ever worked before in my lifetime, and even to the day, I don't think I've ever worked that hard. I was dedicated to training every single day to keep getting stronger, to make sure that I was doing what I love. And I was, that means training six to eight hours daily. That's early mornings, late nights, you name it. I uh, was feeling good about myself, which I hadn't in a long time. And climbing really helped me discover who I was and where I wanted to be. By March last year, I was willing to give it all up because it was just long hours and it was tedious and I hated it. But I didn't know the adventures that were waiting me. And as soon as the competition started in about April, I knew that I found my niche. It all changed when I started to travel and like, I left parts of myself all over the world and everyone that I'd met and every place I went to. I created these most incredible memories that I'd never ever could have imagined of me. If I can tell you anything, it's that you need to travel because travel gives you the one of a kind experiences and leaves you with these unforgettable memories that you want to tell the world. This is actually a sign that I took uh, last year at Youth World Championships and it was cool because it had a lot of different places that I'd been. So I began my adventures in Nanjing, China where climbing was being showcased in the Youth Olympic Games. Honestly, I didn't know what to expect. I was this 18 year old girl who, who was presented with this opportunity to change the world of sport climbing and I didn't know where I was going but I grabbed it with both hands and it was two long tedious weeks with a world class wall with world class routes and world class people. My body was broken in the mornings and it was worth it because this was the highlight of my climbing career. I met the most amazing people who changed my life and that I'll never forget. Climbs are funny because they share the same passion and the same vision and because of that climbing has now been shortlisted for the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo and the Tokyo Olympic Committee is really pushing for it and that's a little girl inside me's dream come true. So after all those laughs and laughs in translation dinner conversations, I was on to my last Youth World Championships in New Caledonia. After 48 hours of traveling, my phenomenal team was ready to take on this tiny little island in the middle of the ocean, with, along with our awesome coach and manager, who kept us on our toes and training hard. We became this very small but very, very happy family. And after training on their boulder wall a couple of times, we found our old and our new friends. Being the oldest, I'd done this a few times, so I sort of knew what to expect, but I didn't know that I'd do as well as I did. After qualification rounds, I was lying 21st, and the top 26 get put into semis. Now, being the first person in South Africa to be put into semifinals in sport climbing is massive, and I never, ever, ever expected it, and I couldn't have ever done that without the support of my family. After semis, I placed 17th, which is a huge shock, not only to me, but my entire team, because we just didn't expect that. Shortly after, I arrived home and I was put straight back on a plane and then flew to Nationals in Cape Town last year. Nationals taught me that competitions are for the day and either you have it or you don't. After this two-day competition, I competed in two, quali uh, in two categories, Opens and Under-19s, which means four qualification rounds, two semifinals and two final routes, where I won Gold and Juniors or Under-19s, but Opens was another story because after semis, I was lying first, and that was cool and everything, but I made a mistake because I became too arrogant. And I, that messed me over in finals, and I placed third of all, which to me completely destroyed me because I'd worked this whole year to be the best at everything, and I wasn't. But it's okay, because you can't have everything. 
At the end of the year, though, I was fortunate enough to go to Rock Masters where this picture was taken, where the best in the country are invited, and I placed second overall, competing against the most powerful woman. And I was already happy with this achievement because I was on to bigger and better things. Since then, I've become this human being doing what I do because seven years ago, I fell in love with this sport and there was no turning back. This year, I've managed to travel all over the country and back to China where I placed seventh in an international competition and met many incredible people just like me who love the mountains for their flaws. Over this past weekend, I won gold in opens in nationals and that means I can go to world championships next year. This uh, this has kept me training in hopes to one day stand on the podium along with the best in the world. And even though these adventures are incredibly crazy and no matter where sport climbing leads us to, I know that climbers at the end of the day, we know that our ancestry is rooted deep within the mountains. And all of this started with a dream of a little girl who didn't know where she was going and a little bit of chalk. Thank you. Thank you.